Welcome, Northwest Preppers here. We have another video, uh, kind of based off another content video. I think our last one was more of a discussion, this and that, but we wanted to get you guys more content. Hi highly reviewed. Highly reviewed. Discussion. Discussion, that's yes. right. Yes. Um, so 21 we, views. <laughs> at this point, you never know. <laughs> um, but So we wanted to go over 72 hour bins and, and uh, or packs. Or and, kits. Or yeah, however you want to word it. Uh, we do have different systems between him and like very different systems. Our households. Say. Yes. And uh, and so today what we want to try to get to you guys is first like what we're about to show you isn't a end all be all you know type of scenario. Um, it, what's what works for us. We've said that over and over again in our other videos. For sure. Um, and then another thing I've noticed is that for us it's not so like bushcraft type survival type kits. Uh, for our, our, our deals. We don't have the tarps and the stuff to go out and create shelter out in the middle of the woods. Uh, it doesn't really apply to us where we're at and most likely we're going to be with a car or a vehicle. Anyway, so we just want to show the basics and then the extras on top of that, the comfort items, uh, yeah. the extra items that we have to basically make that 72 hours of which is like the first 72 hours of really a bad situation uh making it the best possible situation in a bad situation right so yeah um, and, I, and i guess i would say that you know like scott said these are I, we're, we're going with tiered system um you know whether it's our vehicle stuff our edc stuff our get home bags um anything else that we have in the house that we would grab right my my 72 hour kit i don't have any food in it for instance um with that said i'm not going to walk past you know a closet full of freeze-dried food and not grab it because it's not in my bin um if we decided to go ahead and bug out uh we would grab food right and everything else we needed and yeah. throw it in our travel trailer and go from there and if we couldn't take the travel trailer in the car then we would have to make that decision as the time comes right but i'm not going to leave a bunch of gear here just because i can't put it in a small backpack that everyone deems right big enough small enough right size to bug out yeah, into so, the woods. So, so like the pack is or the bin essentially is like having stuff already ready to go in it's one spot saying, right it's in yeah. one area but it's to just help uh, I guess push along you needing to evacuate or you, you needing to leave Correct, in a yeah. very quick amount of time. So it's not like, oh, we're going to create a pack that we can, you know, put together that's going to be everything and all. So anyways, I think we pushed on that point, we pushed that point enough. But, uh, and then another thing I wanted to show that if you haven't put a 72 hour kit together, you, you'll see lists, you'll see other videos out there. Um, I am very basic on my kit or my pack and I've put everything inside a uh, backpacking backpack. And so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when everything's in there um, anyways. And so it, just to get a look or an idea of what it's like to have the basic items in a pack and how much room it actually takes up. Yeah, and unlike Scott, I've got mine just in, in plastic totes. That's, this is what, where it all started for me. This is the first kit I ever made. Be, in, I mean, I wasn't even carrying an EDC backpack at that, at that point. This is, I started making kits, one for each member of our family. Um, now we've got little baby Northwest Prepper that uh, is five months old, and I haven't got there yet. Yeah. I mean, do we have stuff for him? Yes, we do, but, you know, he's five months old, and people with kids knows, know that it changes daily, you know, their <laughs> needs and stuff. So um, that's where we're at. We're going to try to keep these videos... Uh, under a good amount of time. Under, well, yeah. yeah. Please, guys, if you like our content, subscribe. Uh, if you've seen the other videos. Even if you don't like our content. Yeah, hey, subscribe either way. So that really helps us. It gets our name out there. Uh, it spreads the content. The more people that subscribe, the more people that can see the content. I subscribe to a lot of prepping stuff. Right. Um, because it's ideas. It's yeah. You get to see ideas. And not only that, but it's a community. Yeah. Right? Just because you may not like exactly everything that we're doing or you think we're nerdy or geeks or whatever it is. I mean, it's a community, and yeah. it's just like ham radio stuff. It's just like whatever other hobby you guys are into. It, it's a community, and, mm -hmm. and let's build on this community, and everybody has something to add. So, yeah. so you know. subscribing, uh, comment, please comment. We like comments. So yeah. um, whether they're good or bad, guys, please right. just let us know what you think. If we can yeah. help, if we can develop this better, if we if we can add on things to make this channel a little bit better, uh, please let us know. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'll show this on the front of each one of our kits. I have got. Um, whose it is 
the 72 hour kit and then the date that I last updated the inventory. Um, I just tape it on the front and then also on the back um, I have a, a spot for need slash wanted items that we need to update. Um, and I go, th I try to go through these every six months or so uh, or when I'm bored at home doing nothing. That's a lot better than my like, I have a little notebook and I literally just hand write scratch. everything down. Yeah. Well, when you're bored and you don't have anything to do with it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> inside of, that's this is my daughter's kit, she's six. Um, we have a bunch of Mountain House, three days worth of Mountain House foods. Um, that's just what we've decided to go to. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, yeah, sodium's high, but thank God she's six and she can handle it. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I don't have Mountain House in mind. Would I take it? Yes. Um, well, how much sodium is in fast food anyways, right? And yeah. how often we eat that, so. Um, and just in hers, uh, you know, we have some blankets. Comfort blanket. Uh, um, Ziploc bag, you know, and I need to get around to food saving this stuff so that it's nice and dry. Mm -hmm. uh, got her some sparkly cowgirl boots, of course. And let's see here. Just comfort items for her. She's not hauling around, you know, toolkits and right. stuff. So you got Play-Doh. Play-Doh, some crayons. We've got color books in here. Um, everyone has their own um, toilet paper that I food saved, obviously, so it just stays nice and dry. She's got eye protection. I found these are the best ones for the kids just because as they grow, you can just adjust these down and it gets more coverage and they're kind of soft and pliable. They're kinda, yeah, pliable yeah. too. And then, like I've said in a, uh, one of our other videos, uh, just these three in particular masks with vapors and organic vapors. She's got her own mask. I'm just going to throw this stuff down here, Scott. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Go for it. Uh, so she loves these little lanterns. They're LED lanterns from... Uh, uh, Tech City? Uh, yeah, it sounds like it's Chinese made. So. Uh, my older brother got me these for Christmas. Got me eight of them. Uh, we have them pretty much everywhere. But they're, they're neat little yeah, they're LED last guys. Yeah. An LED, right? What type of batteries it takes? Her own headlamp. I think it's say. And a lot of the stuff is stuff that she wanted to just throw in there. I tried to get her involved, as you've seen from her little. Yeah, I took the batteries. Yeah, double A batteries. I wanted to get her involved so she can. She loves glow sticks. Um, this is just a cheap old little flasher she had on a bicycle or something. Because um, why not? And these are little pre made. Um, first aid kits that we bought from Walmart. They were like $1.97 a piece that I've upgraded, of course, with more gauze. But there's Band-Aids and there's stickers in here. And this is stuff that she all wanted to put in here. So, you know, if you can get your kids involved and have some ownership to that, and it's fun for her, you know, I'm, as I'm looking at her little day kit over here that I've shown right. you guys, um, she gets involved in these things and she always asks, hey, where's my day kit? We're going on a road trip or we're going here or there. Um, she wants to have some ownership to that, which I allow, of course. So there, there's reading books, um, you know, stuff just comfort items for her, stuff for her to do, because if, if you've been in a car with a child for any length of time, <laughs> you know that it's frustrating at times when they're... What? No. What, what do I do? Wait. There's nothing to do. Yeah, mine sit quietly. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into mine. There's a lot of stuff. Brought the bin up on the table because we didn't like the way it looked, me bending down, bending down that and I'm old, my back started dirt. Okay, uh, I love Gorilla Tape. I learned this from Skinny Medic over on his channel. He does this with his medical tape, just folded mm -hmm. over so it's easy to see. And again, with the gross motor skills and stuff, you can, I mean, that is a big, this is a three inch variety Gorilla Tape. I love this stuff. So I would use that. I would use that for sealing off um, windows, doors, uh, as I'm pointing up to the heat vents, plastic stuff. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're right by the mountain, not right by. We're 46 miles away from Mount Rainier. Which seems like right there. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close. Right um, just some cheapo uh, duct tape. This I pulled out of the Mrs. bin. She carries a bunch of other stuff, too, just like my kit. Um, she has food in hers. This is just a cheap little uh, tool kit that I got. Ratcheting, little ratchet, um, screwdriver. star bits, screwdrivers, all sorts of locking screwdriver stuff. Um, because why not? It was like eight dollars from Walmart on Black Friday. I have these everywhere. The N N N N ninety five masks. Nora ninety five. Cheap old little. Let's see, Field Line Pro Series. I think this is a fishing. Uh, just a little bag. And here's my fire kit. Uh, we've got Vaseline and cotton balls. Quite a few of them, as mm -hmm. you can see. 
Uh, not, not you, Scott. I can see. Yeah, they in can there. see. Right. A uh, bunch of different. Uh, I got Coleman variety, the UCO Stormproof matches, uh, normal big lighter, white in color. Contractors garbage bags, two of them. Yeah, that's the thicker bag, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll definitely go with the thicker bag if you can. Well, yeah, shelter, ground cloth, yeah. that sort of thing. A lot better. Um, good old. Yep. Flint and steel. What else is in here, Scott? Um. A little front you, pocket. You would know something. because it's not your kit. Right. I was guessing though. This guess. is my bushcraft saw. <laughs> I'm not Those actually guy. work really good. I'm not though. a bushcraft guy, but if you need to process down some wood, it's yeah. cheap, it weighs nothing, and I have the pocket, so why not? Uh, and just some ear pro. Thing. I was gonna say yeah. what got okay. Three yeah. M cool. variety. And some more matches. UCO store matches, because you buy them in like a pack of six. So why not throw them in there? If you got the room, do yeah. it. Okay, as I said, more toilet paper. And this is a full Costco size because you know they come like this. Um, but the food, but the food the savers. Sizes. Oh my gosh, I love the food savers. <laughs> that, I mean, if you cut this carefully, to cut the bag carefully, yeah. you could use it to carry water. Yeah. Um, That's true. You know, that sort of stuff. Okay. iPro. We're, we're going to have to test this and see how it unravels. Like if it, it got <laughs> torn or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these glasses, I like the, and I, and I bought these because they have the magnifying section okay, of them. Right. So yeah. you just basically look down in the glasses and it has the magnifying section down here. Measuring cups. And let me tell you, these are better measuring cups than what we have upstairs in the kitchen. I was going to say, those things look really good. And this is for measuring out for Mountain House and other items for like our freeze dried stuff. We buy a lot of, uh, we have bought a lot of tent number 10 cans. And you need to measure them out. Measure so, out. yeah, these are hefty. Yes, yeah, they're pretty nice. Side note. God, are we um, just domesticated men? And we're talking about I know measuring measuring cups. cups? That's ridiculous, <laughs> Jesus. Um, my wife hygiene stuff. Video. I got. I have gold bond powder. Uh, this little thing right here is ninety-one percent rubbing alcohol. Okay. Um, baby shampoo, because it doesn't sting the eyes. Thing of Q-tips. Uh, eye drops, Dove soap, and some Dove deodorant. So I, this is all the water I have in mine. That's fine. I'm not gonna load this up with water when I have tons of cases yeah. and a bunch of and these. Makes it super heavy if you have a bunch of water. In you know, it takes up space and it's. If this is all heavy. I could get to, I'd say we all could only leave with these these mm -hmm. boxes. This is not a lot, but it's something. Mm -hmm. Okay, medical, medical stuff. In here, I've got emergency. I've got a bunch of uh, prepackaged. There's a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to run through this here. This is a really big, thick um, field camouflage. This I got this from a um, surplus store, army surplus store. Emergency, a bunch of little packets. This is a little um, emergency first aid tack pack, is what they call it. Quick clot uh, sponge in here. I just got this thing from uh, Tactical Tailor back in the day. Face shield for CPR, some cheapo shears, and you guys have seen our, our videos right. with the med stuff that we've got. And then, of course, you'll have gauze. If, you, if you've seen the other videos, you know what I'm saying. I love, yeah. I love the gauze. gauze. And these are prepackaged, um, just utensils um, okay. for suture, holding sutures yeah. and stuff. And in here, this would be the trauma stuff. Gloves, uh, cat tourniquet. Two Israeli bandages, six inch variety, and would you know that? Hey, look, look at God. look at the gauze. And I love these. These are Curlex for uh, Kendall Curlex pads. Nice bulky dressing. You got mm -hmm. a big squirter. Just shove, shove that on. Hold there. pressure. Shove another one on. It bleeds through. Do not remove the gauze once it bleeds through. Quick snip tip. Yep. Um, leave it on. Add another one. And I'm not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. This is <laughs> friends talking to friends here. <laughs> So go along with hygiene. Several things of chapstick. I, you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer that you get addicted to the chapstick and you, you use it because you need it and you need it because you use it. So don't use it if you haven't started. Um, chapstick, toothbrush, dental floss, brand new toothbrush. I mean, I've had mine long enough that the, the labels worn. There off you of go. It. Look yeah, at that. Anyways. Mine never gets there because I use them you so fast. So yeah. Dial antimicrobial soap. 
started leaking. Started like leaking, that. but hey, you know what? It's in its, its own bag. Sealed. That's why we use vacuum seal stuff. And so it didn't uh, contaminate anything else. I've gone back and forth about plastic um, mess kits or eating stuff. Plastic, paper, whatever your poison is, get something, have something other than breakable plates mm -hmm. that are in your cupboards upstairs. Uh, these are just foldable cups or bowls. Got yeah, sure you can get it uh, yeah, you anywhere, get, but yeah, I got these. The higher end ones we've seen is from REI. They make great, great products there, but yeah. Cheapo Perfect. plastic, Ozark Trail, three piece. They're 89, 87 cents a piece. Okay. So I got a couple. Uh, and then I also have metal. And let me tell you, this little knife here, it's got a can opener for one, but you could shank somebody with that. <laughs> that thing That's is, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So I have three sets here. All right. Cheap work right padded work gloves. A couple glow sticks. You've Cuffs, seen these in yeah. some of my other videos. Because why not? And just a. We do bad things to bad people. <laughs> uh, I got it from Tactical Taylor. Mm. <laughs> Writing utensils. I've got a permanent marker, I've got um, a Sharpie. I've got a blue pen, black pen, one with a plastic t uh, tube, and then one with a metal tube. Okay. Um, and then a window, a blue window marker for, for marking yeah, our house, if I need to mark a message to our prepping group, whatever. 40% deep bug spray. It's a lot. It's good though. Yeah. Hygiene stuff. Um, I have a lot of hygiene stuff. It's kind of weird, but um, I can't stand when my, as I've said before, yep. when my nails get long. So, uh, nail kit. And another nail kit. And you do have another nail, well, different nail kit, but you do have another nail kit like this as well elsewhere in your in, other, in your car. My EDC bag, yeah. yeah. So this is an ever-built 98-piece uh, nail assortment. It powers out for an extended period of time, and I always try to keep my drills uh, charged up, but have a nail kit and a, and a hammer so you can build board windows. Yeah, I was going to say board whatever. things, tarps. Electronic flare. Now is that magnetic? It is magnetic. Okay. Yes. So whether you use it on your car, whether you use it on on your trailer, at that point, yeah, you can street signs, whatever. Right. Stick it on the back and you're good to go. Shaving cream and some razors. That and I was just telling Scott a video uh, uh, that I had dipped into that not too long ago. Remember? About I, this, and you needed to replace your razor because you used yes. it. Yes. Paracord. More paracord. I gotta just stop you for a minute. So that is one thing that we gotta push as well. You can use this stuff whenever. It's not like once it's in here, we call it good. If you need it, use it. Just replace no, it. No, as you as you may have saw yeah. from my, I mean that gorilla tape was like this, right? And now it's like this because we use it. I mean, right. I have some more in the garage, but just replace it yeah. and when it gets low. Just don't feel bad about using yeah. your stuff if you need it. Um, life straw. I've heard that when if life straws these have paper filters in them, mm -hmm. when they get wet, they're compromised. Okay, once you use them, you got to continue to use them. Um, or throw them away. Or throw them away. And they're cheap enough. They're twenty bucks. Yes. A piece. So if you do use them, just get rid of them. Yeah. Sorry, I keep wiping the sleep out of my face. It's because Scott <laughs> woke me up this morning at six. It's a Sunday. Yeah, I was here like five forty-five. But well, I mean, well I, thank you for not ringing yeah, the doorbell. Yeah, I, I let you sleep in a little bit. Life straw. <laughs> Baby wipes and Clorox wipes, vacuum sealed, and I can still feel that they're wet. Um, mm. And that's one thing that I check, because who wants to pull out a dry baby wipe and try to use that? Good uh, luck. I don't. I know. Uh, sterile eye wash with the cup in here. Oh, nice. Stuff as we go. Headlamp with the red and the white. Uh, the, you've seen these before. These are the Coast. Got them from Home Depot. I took the batteries out. Batteries are also in there. And he's done this for room saving purposes as well, guys. So if, like, yes, uh, it's, I'll pull out my clothes and right. you can really tell it saves. So. Cheapo uh, Coglin's emergency blanket. I, I also have tons of emergency blankets. These right. are better ones. Um, I should probably throw a couple of these in here too. Done. Done. All right. Uh, well, this one popped open too. Uh, bag's not compromised, although there's probably a little pinhole just because these are metal items in here. Um, a Benchmade. Uh, foldable. Uh, this is a Kershaw foldable okay. with uh, bits. You can see the driver bits in here, and then you just pull this piece out, and you can put the driver bit in there for a little screwdriver. Kershaw. And you've seen, yeah, Kershaw. Okay. In, in my last, my EDC, I think, uh, yeah, 
I had a, a foldable mirror extendable yeah. mirror, and that's that's also another it's also one. Also one of those. Yeah. I've got some bank line. I love bank line. It's just a lot thicker than paracord. Uh, Clothes line, setting up, uh, you know, tents. And these are the alligator clips with with more bank line in there. I love these things, man. Yeah, these are so those much fun. clip onto the end of bags, tarps, whatever, and you can yeah. pull on them. And then you and just you out. just tie the paracord bank line, whatever, to a tree, extend it out, and just alligator clip these down. These are awesome. I got them from Walmart. You get like a four or six pack for four bucks. Pretty cheap. All right. Something to write on, um, whether it's notes, whether it's, you know, your last will and testament, whether it's, um, and I'm being serious with yep. that. Um, you know, you're writing down, hey, this is where we're at, come find us, help, whatever. All right, this is uh, an extra, extra large coat. And you can see how small it broke down to. And I don't have big hands by any means. So, coat. Yep. So that definitely saves a lot of room. In here is a pair of pants, 511 variety cargo pants, as well as a sweatshirt, a hooded sweatshirt. Uh, these are electronic little things we got from okay. um, Home Depot, or excuse me, uh, Costco, in all different colors. But say, you know, say that the garage is compromised because of structure, I would want to throw this outside, hang this on the doorknob, and be red, meaning don't go in there. Um, green, if, hey, we're in this room, we need to affect rescue, green, this is where we're at, they go ahead and go in there. But it's got all different uh, variety or different colors, and it flashes, plus I have a lot. A lot of batteries, uh, AAA. Six, 16 batteries. Just a few. Right, in here, uh, this is two pairs of pants and three shirts <laughs> in here. Jeez. Um, that, that's crazy. And I don't, I don't buy special clothes. I don't buy the wool stuff. Should I? Yeah. Probably. Do I want to spend the money? No, not really. Um, I'm not a hiker. I'm not a bushcrafter. My rear end is going to stay in the house and you know work around the house in an oh. event. Yeah. And I want to wear comfortable clothing. This is my home defense right here. It's the Colt gun. <laughs> okay. Plus, I have a bayonet on here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you could poke somebody yeah, with that I get it. I right see in the it. face. I see it. Um, yeah. No, in all seriousness, <laughs> uh, we have plastic sheeting in this uh, closet behind me, and I've got two tubes of silicone caulk uh, for sealing up windows, for sealing up uh, air vents, all that stuff. And plus, just a quick and easy I was one. I say the quick and easy one right there. Yeah. Big old Costco pack of baby wipes. 72 that hours worth it. of socks and undies. There it is. I, you know, it's one of those things that it's a morale booster. Fresh pair of underwear. Fresh pair of undies. Okay. Good old army surplus tent stakes. Metal ones. Nice metal ones. Not plastic. Not plastic. Is it just zip tied together? They have a little eyelet here for uh, guying wires, and I can use these for ham radio stuff as well. If I want to, you know, put up a uh, mm -hmm. 40 foot antenna or whatever it is, I can use those for guying as well. Um, a hammer for my nail kit. This is a Stanley Fat Max uh, Reckon Bar. Prying capabilities, taking out nails, uh, wrench for Possible hydrants. Other things, yeah. yeah, and then a good hammer. This thing probably weighs, I don't know, what, five to seven pounds? Roughly. Yeah. And then we've got a few. A full roll of Kirkland variety. But yeah, this bin, I mean, it it's big, but with all the stuff in here, it's small. Yeah, actually, yeah. But that's it. Uh, the missus has one as well. I'm not going to dig that out because we're already hitting 16 minutes here. More than that because anyways. But um, yeah. guys, get the stuff. These are mostly comfort items. You know, I looked up pre-made bins online uh, and, and just Googled 72-hour kits. And there's like a tube tent and a trowel to go to the bathroom. Will you pull that up, Scott? Yeah. This is a whole nother video, but because I'm looking at it and brought up sanitation, this is a Home Depot Homer bucket. Um, Black Friday, you can get them for a dollar. I put the Lugabaloo, uh, I believe it was $16.99 from Walmart. This is a toilet seat uh, with a lid. Is it the best? No. Is it something? Absolutely. For my kids, you know, for us, you're sitting there hovering. I mean, who wants to do that? In all seriousness. I mean. But this is my sanitation, real quick, I'm sorry. This is my sanitation bucket. Um, zip ties, Clorox wipes, 
These are just liners to put in the bucket. And then we've got a bunch of uh, contractor's bags to put these bags in into here. here. Right. Toilet paper, gloves to clean up the mess. Different, uh, these are dog bags that I got from the park because why not, they're there, take them. Yeah. Um, and then baby wipes. What I'm forgetting or not, I have not bought, we don't have a cat, thank God. Sorry if you've got cats. <laughs> they just, I don't trust them, they're weird. Um, I need to get cat litter yeah. to put in here or shavings or charcoal works, um, you know, wood shavings. But anyways, guys, just take ideas from my, my side of things. Scott's going to do his next. Um, he's got a different setup. So it's like that's, and that's what our channel is trying. We're trying to do that with two different households. We're trying mm -hmm. not to be uniformed, militarized type stuff. Tactical. Um, we're just trying to, you know, if you guys have seen, try to show you um, how, you know, two guys with, with families do it. You know, we try to be real, try to be honest, and, you know, I don't have a ton of money to spend on all this stuff, right. you know? Um, well, so. and the amount of items that you need to buy, kind of like, it, it adds up really quick. So, yeah. we do, we try to go cheap, we try to tell you guys Walmart brands, this and that, because there's Walmarts literally everywhere, so. I love Walmart, especially yeah. our Walmart's great out here, yep. it's, it's awesome, so. But yeah, so I'll, I'll cover mine here, uh, and then we'll just jump in, you'll, yeah, I'm like literally half the stuff probably, but we'll yeah. see what we got. All right. All right, so my system's a little bit different. Um, with my backpack and stuff, I happen to have a nice backpack. Uh, they don't carry this one anymore, but they definitely have Gregory is the brand. I re highly recommend these or the Osprey. Osprey has a great system. Um, this is 28 pounds with everything packed. Uh, it's about three to four pounds heavier than the heaviest I've ever backpacked with. But for given the scenario, I'm just going to suck it up and hike with it. Um, so it has great support. It's a great bag. Um, and then when everything's packed inside here, if I need to get to anything and it's not right on top, my sleeping bag's on the bottom, which I could access just that compartment itself. Um, there is right along here, I have a zipper and I can zip this down and reach inside to get whatever I need nice. inside there. So yeah. it's accessible, it works, um, it's very compact, but as soon as you start unpacking this thing and you start really pulling the stuff out, you better be, uh, pretty set on putting everything back together the way it was put in place. But, um, so yeah, just on the outside, um, I do have a ham radio put in the pocket with just basic antenna. That's not what or I'd the be rubber using it for. Right, I'd be easy, either using a whip uh, antenna, which is a much larger antenna, or I'd be hooking that up to my car and using the mag mount essentially from my car, which can also be portable if need be. So, Yep, so it works. Charged Even up, with that. good to go. Yep, so, and then that will actually, when I'm wearing my pack, And we're, we're right both licensed. Yes, we are way. licensed ham radio operators. This clips right on the front, so my radio sits right here along with me. I also have uh, a Gerber knife. It's, uh, it's, it's not a fixed blade. Stop but the show. Stop the show. This is a Yaesu FT270. For those that are inquiring about what kind of radio he's carrying. Sorry. We also have uh, a bunch of bail fangs. Uh, cheapos. They work great. They're easy to program with Chirp. Um, this is a nice, durable, capable radio. This is only 2 meter, mm -hmm. not 70 centimeter. Right. Or did I have... Yeah, correct. No, yeah, yeah, yeah right. one, 144. But this is waterproof. Yeah, you can dunk this in the water, pull it back out, yeah. and it'll still work. So that's why I use this as like my rugged one. The other ones that we do have, the other radios... Uh, they can't go in water, so I wouldn't. No, we're not sponsored by anybody. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we're fond of Yesu radios. Yes, we are. And this is a really cool hat that they gave us. Yeah, we we had to spend a lot of money to get those hats. And they're dorky. <laughs> yes, they but are. But I'm not throwing away a hat. No. So I can't do that. That's okay. our plug, Yesu. <laughs> if you're watching. That's right. So uh, again, Gerber. It's just a quick knife. Uh, it's been through a lot. And it's tried, tested. It Gerber's works, good. and they're um, and they're they're USA. Yeah, they're down in Portland. And I could send probably that back after having it for years on end, and they will yeah. probably send me a new one for free. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, so jumping through that, uh, the top pocket not doesn't have a whole lot in it. Um, literally, I have like this is like my hike boo boo kit. Uh, it has moleskin. It has uh, like tweezers. Uh, Why do you have waterproof mole skin in skin? Mole there? skin? Did you skin it? I know, right? I had to to get the skin of the mole. Oh um, but hydrocodone. Cortisone. 
Bahenkyo cream, baby powder, uh, moleskin. We do have a thermometer in there with like the sleeves of each thing. Um, now this is for like when you're hiking, blisters. you're going long deal. Yeah, and you're getting blisters on your feet because you're not used to hiking. You, if you don't have this that. available for you for your bug out bag, your EDC bag, your get home bag, your car kits, your whatever, you need to get some. Yes. Because, you know, when I'm hiking with my 95 pound <laughs> get home bag, um, 35 pounds. 35 pounds. You're going to get some blisters. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, um, so I have that. I do have toilet paper and uh, trauma shears. So easily accessible there. Non-vacuum sealed toilet paper. All yes, on. and this is what non-vacuum sealed toilet paper looks like. Um, yeah, the difference is we'll throw that out there as he gets that. So he's gonna do it right now. You apparently. need to, you need to get you so. one of these. Uh, Costco sells them. Vacuum sealer, baby. We'll hook you up before you leave. Okay, how's that? Okay, sounds good. Okay, okay I can put my toilet paper down. Um, so the top of the pack, oh my gosh, this is going to be hard to do it here. I might just throw this on the ground. Starting from the top, um, I do have, uh, a Thermarest sleeping pad. It inflates, it's full size for me. Do you um, have to blow that up yourself? Nope. You literally unpack it, valve. you throw it, untwist the valve okay. and it self inflates. Um, I usually will blow into it to inflate a little bit more and then seal it off. Um, just so I make sure that it has a good amount of padding in there. Do I absolutely need this in my 72 hour kit? No. Is it a luxury? Yes. And so, and it's super well, light. If you've got kids with you. Yeah. And then I only carry, like I said, I have a sleeping bag at the bottom of this pack. So I have this with that. It's If if it's my family, it's going to be either just me sleeping or just the wife sleeping. There's only going to be one of us sleeping. Uh, the kids have their blankets. They have what they need for sleeping as well. But um, having one sleeping bag, that's all we really need. Um, and so that's kind of the system that we have. Um, N95 masks, again, it's got three in there, just, and then this one has a variety of things. Eye solution, um, I wrote, I wonder, they probably can't see it, but I wrote everything down on what's inside of it, right on the outside. Um, and then everything is in its own Ziploc bag as well. Uh, toothbrush, still in this container. And then I just have the body wash, shampoo, uh, just floss, Q-tips, hygiene. Uh, ice solution for contacts, which I do wear. Um, extra pair of contacts in there, just one pair. Uh, but you also carry glasses too. I do have my glasses with me everywhere I go, whether it be to from work, wherever. If a contact pops out, they dry out, whatever. Because if you've seen this. the movie 13 Hours... Oh, was that an issue? <laughs> he lost his contact as they were going to take over Benghazi. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad time to lose a that's contact. A and I thought like losing it, you know, at my job was an issue, but um, yeah, it could be an issue too. Though. Yeah, it technically really could be. But uh, but yeah, so a hygiene kit. Um, it has tissue paper, things like that. Uh, so me, I do carry. I don't carry Mountain House with me. Again, mine's a little more. I guess not for here, it's for moving, because uh, I don't really plan on staying at my house. Uh, well, yeah, where are you going? I have a horrible location. Uh, oh, I, I don't know, just a friend's house. And yeah, hope they take me in. I got skills! Better bring yourself um, a tent. <laughs> sleep outside in the backyard. <laughs> um, so this one stuff here, I just rotate it out uh, every now and again. I got Cliff Bars, uh, Nature Valley uh, Bars. I have chicken breast in a can. Um, is the that wife, the chicken of the sea? It, it's technically it's not. It's the bird of the sea. It's the bird of the sea, yes. <laughs> and so uh, my wife has like the uh, the packet tuna. Oh yeah, like the, like the Star Kiss ones or something? Yeah, so it's ones? not a can thing. It's just like in a pouch. Yeah, those, are, those are good though. Uh, they are super light, easy. They have sriracha tuna now. Now you just blew my mind. I'm going to have to try that. Yeah, it's nice. So, okay. um, again, I just, these are the cheapo gloves. Now again, guys. Uh, what I've put in this pack is like, if if you've seen any other videos with me, uh, I always have like a backup system. Now my EDC and my car system, everything, I have better gloves, I have more items, this and that, which is going to go incorporate itself with this. Because if I do plan on leaving, guess what, I'm taking my car. And yeah. so half the items, not just this pack, but half the other items are also in my car. And then I can uh, plan accordingly at that point. I can ditch these, put the better gloves in it whatever I need to do. So, but again, leather gloves, you can't go wrong with just no, a good no, pair of leather no. gloves. I mean, if, whether you're using 
um, you know, bang line or paracord to lower his pack down off of a ridge or whatever mm -hmm. it is, you're gonna want some leather gloves. So I got a full size thing of sanitizer, um, just different variety of socks. Uh, they're 70, not 70%. Sealed. So, and then this one is like uh, med, little med bags. I got Advil, Toms, uh, uh, you got Benadryl, and then the liquid Tylenol, which I am not going to start carrying anymore because I don't like liquid anywhere. But the Benadryl, I'll Well, but if it's, this is obviously kids' brand stuff. Yep. It's got, he's it's got, children's. He's got the ibuprofen, which is Motrin, mm -hmm. and then the Tylenol. They're both processed through different parts of the body for children. Yep. Um, our, real quick, our daughter had seizures. Um, us one seizure, febrile seizure brought on by a fever, and it's the rapid onset of a fever. But the, the ER, both the resting position, the ER doc told us, and the medics, double dose Motrin Tylenol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. So um, I do have, you know, more hygiene stuff. Smell uh, good stick. Oh man, I just, does it? It does smell pretty good. Mm -hmm. So it's the uh, Aqua Reef Old Spice. Beautiful. Excellent stuff. Old um, Spice, if you're watching. <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, this is by MSR. It's just like a, it's a towel. It's a body towel. Um, use this a lot when, when backpacking. Is it like a chamois? Um, yeah, it's pretty much like a chamois, but it's very it absorbent. It feels better than a chamois. Though. Yeah, so it's like a microfiber cloth. Um, it's very thin, but it's very pliable. You, you could wrap yourself up in that bad Yeah, boy. you can. And yeah. then it rings out really, really well. And then you can just use it again and then literally throw this over something to dry in the sun really quick. It does, it dries really well. So, and it's super lightweight uh, and portable. Yeah, it takes up hardly any room. So, um, more socks, different style of socks. My other ones were really long socks. These are short socks. Um, I do have waterproof pants. So, um, just in case it's raining and I have tons of dog hair on it. But, um, but yeah, I don't know how well I got on there. I don't even have that type of dog. You have, you have dogs? That's not my dog. Anyways, um, so yeah, waterproof pants. Because, uh, well. Why not? Yeah, we're here in Pacific Northwest. It rains nine months out of the year. Um, but then I do I have a different pants, old BUs. Uh, just use some of that stuff. Um, yeah, use what you guys have. If you've got yeah. an old pair of jeans, throw it in the throw it in your bin. So, and then I do have long, long sleeves. If I'm sleeping out in the elements, even if it's 60 degrees outside or summertime where it gets 65, 70 outside, I'm still going to be using long, long sleeves. Well, that's, yeah. So, um, even in my car, it's going to well, be cold. And, and bugs and everything else, yep. they covered up. Yeah, you know, you so, um, I do have playing cards, a couple decks of cards. Uh, Piano. I do, yeah, I do have a list here of stuff that, you know, I have for my wife and my kids stuff, but like the kids, they have their own games as well, but this is, I've split stuff up, and this would be for like me and wife, whoever else we have, once the, we get together as a group, the prepper group, we have stuff to play with, so. Um, like, Take your mind off the, yeah. what's going on. Shirts, just old shirts that I probably will never use in a million years, so I just threw them in there. And then, honestly... That's pretty much it. I do have a cutting board, so if we have to process anything, I don't have to use the ground or wherever we're at, I can literally use this. Uh, if I need to write on something and I only have a single piece of paper, I can use this. I can just set this down rather than being outside trying to find a rock or whatever. It's kind of like an iPad. So, so ooh, it's an a, iPad. It's a wood pad. <laughs> it's a wood pad. And then I do have a saw in here, so I mean, like I said, it is kind of bush crafty ish. But the saw works great. Uh, it's Coleman, so it's, I mean, it works. Um, I've been through a lot as well, and it still just keeps going. It hasn't died on me, but I also take care of all this stuff. Um, so that is the main compartment. That's all I have in that main compartment. Now, can I fit a little bit more in here right on top? Yes, I could. Yeah. I could expand these out. Well, you could cram one of those in there. Right. Yeah. And so, but I always leave room. If, if you've seen other videos or, or if you know me at all, you know I leave room. And all the packs that I have, I always leave room. So, um, and in the front, this little pocket here. Um, again, this can Velcro, unVelcro, it opens all the way up. Um, hand warmers. Um, I mean, fire kit matches, Bic lighter, same thing, you know, flint. So, um, the one thing I do have in here that's different, uh, right in the rain, uh, pad and pin. Now, if I need to set a message out and let's say I am outside somewhere or there's a possibility of the paper's going to get wet, if I write on this and then it rains, 
it's not gonna get destroyed. It's gonna stay there, the message is yeah. gonna stay there. And so whoever comes across, it's not gonna be a it's, crumply wet It's definitely paper. worth the, the, you know, between six and eight dollars to get a writing rain pad and their pen. You can also use a pencil. You don't have to get their pen. You can use a pencil. Yeah. Um, pencil won't come off. It, it's, it, you should have it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's good stuff. It's worth it. Um, so I have like foil bags. Uh, white bags. I've just really compacted them down and then put them in a Ziploc, which I should vacuum seal these as well. More hand warmers. And um, old style Leatherman, even though I have another Leatherman, I'm a fan of multi tools. Literally just like a knife that I don't, I'd probably have lost if I didn't put anywhere, so I just have an extra knife. Um, eating utensils just for myself. Um, I can rewash them, somebody else can eat later with them if they want. And then uh, just more writing utensils with some rubber bands. So um, the other thing I have, which I need to find a place for it, it used to be a key for a keychain, uh, but I stopped carrying it around because it was so bulky in my pocket with you know my two cars and this and that and their key fobs. And but it's a spring-loaded uh, window punch, and then this piece comes off, is and it, it's a seatbelt cutter. Is it a Rescue Me? So yeah, yeah. it's a Rescue Me yeah. brand. It looks like an old one. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a risk. Yeah, it is old, but it still yeah. works. And yeah, absolutely. So, but yeah, and so I do have that in here as well. Um, I used to carry a few of these around. I have one in each vehicle and uh, within arm's reach, obviously. But yeah, so that's literally all there is other than right here in this pocket. I have my uh, sleeping bag and I don't think I covered. I just have a flashlight on the outside as well. Um, now, again, get to my notes. Um, so some of the items that aren't in my pack, but I've left room if I need to, uh, again, my car EDC, if you've seen the other videos, you, you know, there, we, I have a lot of stuff in there. The masks, like we were saying, yeah. uh, uh, there's uh, a water filtration system. This is a tiered system. Yeah. You know, we have tons of stuff in your house, obviously, but and we brought it up, your EDC, your get home stuff, your whatever you guys want right. to call it. Br Look, I'm going to bring, as you've seen from my stuff, I'm going to bring more stuff than I need, mm -hmm. hopefully, in the hopes that you, well, you can ditch it, you can give it out, you're with people. I'm not going at this alone. Right. You know, yep. you're going to lose stuff. You know, redundancy is the key. Bring multiple pens, knives, and, and fire starting capabilities, and get to basics, okay? Get a good water filter. Mm -hmm. Have some food on hand. And, mm -hmm. and fire. I mean, those are really the basics in a, in a knife. Yep. And the shelter's my vehicle. Yeah. So, and that's also my security as well. One thing I didn't bring up when I was talking about mine, but these are kept in the Mrs. Bin, are vitamins. Um, for me, for the kiddos, and for her, this is obviously more than 72 hours. There's 164 uh, multivitamins in these big ones. Um, when you're eating like you're not usually eating with Mountain House and freeze-dried or canned food or SpaghettiOs or whatever you put back, top ramen, you're not going to be getting the nutrients out of your fresh fruits and vegetables. So you guys need to think about having some multivitamins just so that you're getting something good other than sodium from your freeze-dried food. Yeah. So, um, and there was a whole bunch of other, a whole slew of stuff I didn't even get into with her bin, but um, just take some ideas, guys, from us and, and put together a bin. Like I said, this is where it all started for me. Mm -hmm. These are the kits that I first started to do, and they grew. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, I started with, you know, socks and underwear and extra clothing, bam, put it in there. And for women, it could be expensive. You think about bras and, and all that sort of stuff that's expensive. Um, it's the write-off concept, you yeah. know, for most of the stuff other than, you know, maybe a razor or a shaving cream because you forgot to buy it, yep. you know, or duct tape, you know. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, and then vitamins. Um, vitamins are kind of expensive as well. Yeah, so, absolutely. But, uh, and when they expire, you got to throw them away. Mm -hmm. These expire um, July of 19, so we're good for a while, for a year. One more year. Yeah. Again, uh, the kits that I was talking about, I do have the IFAC, a, fi a whole jet boil system. Um, yeah. I have all these things in my car already. So the fact that the point of my 72 hour kit is that grab and go type of scenario, uh, it's just to kind of help put essential items together in one place that I can literally grab and run with. That also includes the stuff in my car as well because I'm taking my car with me. Um, 
but yeah, extra shoes, power banks. Uh, the wife has one in her, her kit. Uh, I also have one in the vehicle. So, and then I also have one on one of my, my backpacks as well. So I have those sort of things. The things that's in my wife's bin are just a few items that I wanted to cover that I don't have in mine. Uh, glow stick. Uh, she carries the uh, like different colored ribbons. Uh, and for that's for, we haven't, we'll say in here anyways, we'll just cover, say that's a form of communication with well, we brought that we brought that up. Right, in one the, of the other I videos. think the last video. Right. Yeah. And so we have that. Uh, she does have a small amount of food as well. So I have the clip bars and stuff. She has the, the tuna. Uh, and then she has a life straw. Now, I in this pack, again, I, I took it out. Uh, but So it wasn't here for this video, but I have the Catadyne Hiker Pro filtration. And then in my car, I have the, the uh, Sawyer Mini. Uh, and then so she has the life straw. So within the, the few items that we have, we, we always have a filtration system. Um, and then the kids, they have coloring books, crayons, uh, they have uh, extra room. Now that's one thing that I wanted to do. They don't take as much items, their clothes are smaller. I have a four year old, so um, I was able to leave extra room inside their bin. So that's the, the pantry food that we may have to just grab and throw yeah. in a bin. That's the items from around the house that we could grab. We have room to just throw it in the bin and go. We don't have to think about, oh, we gotta get another bin and this and that or whatever. We can just throw it in theirs. It minimizes the space and then uh, we can deal with, with it from there. Yeah. So, okay, so that's some of the items and... Sorry, the battery died. Yeah, the battery died, so we had to go get the other battery. And, and, and so and with so, getting the new battery, he got a bunch yeah, of gear so, he wants to talk about. Well, I just, I figured we needed to cover this and then it Didn't behold. you already talk about this? Well, I talked about it, but I wanted to show like as far as the room and why I don't carry it. I carry this in my car, but it takes up a lot of room. Yes, it does. So it is big. It's a pot, so I can't cook in it. So uh, freeze-dried food that we, we might take with us, whatever, you know, we have the pre-made freeze-dried kits, you know, stuff like that. I have it. And then I have the big thing of the, uh, of the uh, fuel. So yeah, little guy like this. We have the bigger ones, little ones. Yeah, this would be a, um, a personal meal. In here is uh, freeze-dried onion, freeze-dried uh, beef, cheese powder, and noodles. Yep. There's still a lot of room in here that I can use. Um, I have S carabiners. I can carabine this to a bag, my bag, whatever. Um, but this sits in my car, but this is designed to move over into another system. Lo and behold, my Catadyne. Uh, it was in his bag. Yeah. It, uh, so we have this as the Pro, or Hiker Pro. So it's essentially, it has a tubing, and you throw the one end of the tube out. It's a hand pump system. So you pull this guy out, you pump, and then uh, you can move that into a container. Great, great thing. Works really well. Highly recommend it. Um, Catadyne Hiker Pro. And then the other one I wanted to cover that sits in my car at all times, which I think we've done in our first content video, uh, this blanket. Uh, it was like twenty dollars at um, Costco. Costco, yeah, we have the same. And one. it's just a down, super thin down blanket. And this, I mean, yeah, when it's crunched up like this all together, it does take up a little bit of room. Uh, but you it, can I mean, it you can vacuum seal that down for right. nothing. Well, then, yeah, and even if you don't vacuum seal it and you use it for the first time, you need to repackage it back up, right? I can line my bag with this, uh, fold it in half, line it. And, uh, and then shove all the stuff around the inside of it. So it doesn't have to be all bunched up. And, the, and these are super you know, warm too. I mean, uh, the, yeah, and the, they're, they're amazing. so thin, they're amazing. it's ridiculous. So this would be something, and you, you know, throw the kids together, you know, side by side and throw this over Absolutely. them if they're cold. A couple hand warmers. Yeah, yeah they'd and cold. they'd be good to go. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to show that these, I do have them, they're in my car, and this is something that I do plan on taking with me in the case of our 72 hour uh, scenario. So. That's all I have as far as my notes go. I don't know if you have any other. No, I was just, points. you know, I was just gonna say before you rudely interrupted me. I love doing uh, that. Guys, just like we've said, just take ideas. Um, get something. Something's better than nothing. Um, you know, we don't have high, high, high end gear. Um, mm. This just is a culmination of years of thinking about this and and putting stuff together. Yeah. Um, I've got the food saver up here because I'm looking at his toilet paper sitting over there dry. It's just, uh, just we itching wanna, to get to it. Just keep itching it that to get way. to it. But just, you know, obviously if you found our videos, you're on YouTube looking. So um, um, 
Casual Preppers is a good one that I've recently found. Um, although, I, <clears throat> I must say, those guys are great, excuse me. Um, at first, it, it, I thought it was a little annoying because they do a bunch of funny voices and stuff, but it's, they're pretty funny. They're good guys. Uh, Cam and Kobe are their names. Um, but check check some of those guys out. Skinny Medic, uh, Nothing Fancy, Sooch. Um, there's a lot there's of them. A, there's a lot of great Canadian prepper. There's a lot of great guys out there that are doing good stuff and they're producing good content. Um, mm -hmm. Get little snippets from one video to the next and you formulate your own type of kit and something that works for you because, again, we're in the Pacific Northwest. We... Uh, it, it rains a lot, so uh, and we have a completely different scenario <clears throat> compared to somebody who might be in uh, Utah or Florida or wherever. So and we're not we're we're where my family's located. We're not in a city. Yeah, where I am. Yeah, I mean, so he's got the urban side of things, um, you know, and, and you need to develop your plan as such. So. Yep, so again, if, if you like it, please comment, subscribe. Uh, if you think we can add something or something doesn't quite work, comment, let us know. Uh, if Thumbs up, something. So. Yeah, right. Thanks for coming, guys. We appreciate it. All right, take it easy. If uh, you're thinking about security for your prepping plan, Think of a Chihuahua, half Chihuahua, half Wiener Dog, and he's blind. <laughs> huh, Popper? Come, 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 come! Blind Chihuahua. He's a blind boy. He's a little killer. A little killer. He'll track anybody down. That's right. Um, keen sense of smell. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do we do?